Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How's everything today? Hi, how are you? I'm I'm, I'm great. Fine. I'm still I'm still at the office. If you can notice, if you see anything different here, right? I'm still at the office. Um, so I've 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 stayed I just stayed here because I was like, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to um bring my laptop and I'm going to stay there cuz cuz then I avoid traffic, right? If I drive, you know, home right now, I won't find I won't find as much traffic as I would find um in the afternoon, right? So, so you are in the main office of Inglés Corporativo? No. For my other job. Ah, yeah. all right. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yes, so I, I can stay here all night if I wanted, but so yeah, I just uh finished working at like around 5 30 p.m. and then I went to the to the gym and then I took a shower here because we got showers here and everything. And then I'm back here working. I had to come back here and prepare the class, you know. So I've been working the whole day and I still need to study. It's crazy, you know. It's crazy, a lot of work, but it's good, right? It's good. It's good to have a job, you know. It's good to have. Uh, it's good to enjoy your job, and and I think I I can say that I enjoy it, you know. What about you guys? How have you been? How was your work today? In my case, I have a good day because uh, I will not. I study in an academy, and. And this academy is English too. And the topic in this academy, I remember it was the environment. The environment, okay. Yes, you you say the environment, for example, don't throw pollution, no, uh, don't throw garbage on the street, and you don't throw a uh, trash. So that's called littering. So you mean that uh, they don't litter? Yes. Litter, littering, you guys. So when you say littering, like like that, littering is the act of of uh, littering. <laughs> you know, like throwing, littering. Burn, like littering, like this, guys. When they say don't, you know, don't litter, right? Or little don't litter. Is pequeño. No, that is little. Don't little. What is little? In this case, little. Little is small, something small. Little, liter. Oh, it's comparative. If you, say, if, you, if you say liter, right, liter to lit to you know, don't litter on the street, that's actually a verb. That means, you know, not to throw garbage, uh, garbage on the street, you know. So, anyways, okay. Um, so just throw garbage. Yes. Literally, like literal. No, that is literally. <laughs> oh. Yes. I I I heard that literally, literally. Sorry. Literally. <laughs> and in English, it's like actual, actualmente in Spanish. That, that's that's actually no, no man, no. But actually. It's not actual. It's not actually. It's like saying really. Actually, mm -hmm. it's not actual. No, stop translating. Do not translate. Try mm -hmm. to learn the meaning. Okay, if you translate, you're gonna run into a lot of issues. Okay. And to and to say actualmente in English, what word I can use? It means nowadays. A days. Nowadays. Okay. Nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays. Okay. Yes, like this. Nowadays. Yeah. All right. Very good, guys. All right. Anyways. So how are you? How are you? Teacher, Welcome. What is nowadays? Nowadays is what our dear friend Eduardo mentioned. What is it, Eduardo? Was it Eduardo? No? Yes. Uh, I question about some I, asked, I asked about, not question, I asked about. Okay, I asked about 
some word to say actualmente. Ah, okay, I understand. Yes, yes, that is correct. That is correct, guys. All right. So, guys, um, so we are going to go over. Hey, by the way, guys, before we get started, uh, how far are you? Did you complete section three already? Uh, in my case, <laughs> no. No, guys, you need to have it complete. No. Not yet. I, I think you need to complete it by tomorrow, okay? So be careful with that, all right? You need to have it completed by tomorrow. I need you guys, all right, listen, guys, listen. I need you to complete it by tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to go over the answers, okay? Necesito que lo completen antes de mañana, antes de la clase de mañana, porque mañana vamos a ir por las respuestas de la sección 3, okay? Got it? And the section 4, too. No, no, not for tomorrow. Section four, we're going to do that um, next week. That Actually, three okay. and yes, the section three, right? In the midterm, yeah, we can go over the midterm too, right? But anyways, guys, uh, time to start talking about today's topic. And today's topic is going to be participles as adjectives, okay? So, what, guys, what is an adjective? First of all, guys, yesterday, yesterday I explained to you, uh, I explained to you, I'm sorry, I explained to you uh, the difference between a gerund and a participle, present participle, right? Do you remember? What is the difference? You should have it in I your number. I remember the difference between gerunds and participle is gerunds feeling. Okay, I think your connection is cutting off a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was me, guys, but... In uh, present participle is. Okay, could, can anybody, guys, can anybody give me an example of a present uh, Yes, I have about Irener. Okay, right, got it, got it, got it. So, guys, can anybody give me an example of a present participle? Just the, the example. What would be an example of a present participle? Uh, I'm tired because I've been working the whole day. So what is the present participle there? I've been working. The whole I've been working for you? Is that the present participle? So I've... I've been, been working, working for three years. Watching TV? But guys, that is okay. You're giving me an example of present perfect progressive. I am asking you what I am asking you. Give me the present participle. What is the present participle? I told you yesterday. I start in English. Yes, in English. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No, you don't remember. Uh, I like singing. Okay, so, okay, so, all right, I like, you're getting close, right? Is this a present participle? I like singing. Is that, is that, is that a present participle, singing? No. No, this is a, this is a gerund, right? So what is an example of a present participle? I am singing. I am singing, very good. I am singing, right? So, very good, yes. Singing in this case, yes, this is a present participle. Why? Uh, because a uh, present participle <coughs> is an action that started in the past but continues in the present. No, that is present perfect progressive. That is the definition, right? One of the definitions from present perfect progressive. No, that is not the definition of a present, of a present participle. What is a present participle, guys? Somebody it's a continuous action. It's a continuous action, correct, guys? It's a continuous action, right? All right, it has to be an action. So what is the difference between singing here and singing here? Why is this a present participle and why is this a gerund? I explained that yesterday too. If not, go watch the video on YouTube, guys, and explain it to me. I'll wait for you. <laughs> what is the difference, guys? Or you know what? Ask, you know what? Hay un señor, guys, hay un señor que le pueden preguntar cómo se llama. Google, Google. Google, right? Ask Mr. Google, guys, okay? 
or, or está, este otro, está este otro señor que se llama uh, el señor cuaderno, right? You can ask Mr. Notebook too. So In what is general, it? Uh, I like singing. Um, the verb is used in, in the place of the subject. In this case, no, it's not. All right. This is the subject, right? I is the subject. So because singing. There are two verbs. Now. Exactly, guys. This is working as a noun. Very good. Okay. What type? So this is working as a noun, right? This is working, guys, as the object of the sentence. Okay. All right, and what type of object is it? It's a noun, okay? Very good. Who gave me the answer, guys? Who gave me the answer? Quien me dio esa respuesta? Me. <laughs> Catherine, applause, applause for Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, the next teacher at Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much, Catherine. What? Well, that's not all right, guys, this is working as a noun, and this is not working as a noun, right? This is actually a continuous action because it's an action. A present participle, guys, is an action, okay? All right, this is not an action. I, singing in here, guys, is not an action. Singing here is an action, got it? Does that make sense? If you're doing the action, guys, it's a present participle, okay? So, so far so good, guys. Now, do we remember again what a present participle is? Yes or no? Yes? All right. So, guys, we're going to talk about participles, right? Past participles and present participles. Well, not actual past participles, but simple past, guys. Uh, no, actually, yeah. I'm sorry. Past participles and present participles as adjectives, okay? So, let's go over them right now. So we're going to go over the adjectives, guys, you know, participles as adjectives, and we're going to have some practice at the end, okay? So by the end of this class, guys, uh, you will learn, you know, the difference between, you will learn how to use actually present participles and past participles as adjectives, okay? So what is an adjective? Who can tell me what an adjective is? If I say, guys, um, if, let's, let's imagine this. Before you, you take a look at the image here and you read the, you know, the definition and everything, right? In your own words, guys, what is an adjective? And I would like to ask you guys, if I say, um, I don't know, um, give me, you know, if I say handsome, is this an adjective? Yes. Yes. No. yes? A handsome man. Why do you know? How, how, how do you know that this is an adjective? Because describe a noun. So what noun is this describing? That is correct. I like that. I like the, the fact that you know what an adjective does, right? But what is this word describing right now? All right, this, check this out, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you my Picasso skills, okay? So I have a dog, right? I have a dog, right? And let me, let me draw, you know, my, my, my cute little dog, okay? Looks like a pig, right? But anyways, All right? So let's say that I have a, a dog, right? Or right, whatever. <laughs> you are in, right? So, anyway, so let's say that I have I have a dog, guys. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna spend too long drawing a, a dog here. He has you have legs. to save that dog. Okay, so he has weird weird legs, guys. Okay, all right. And he's crazy, right? Very good. So let's say that I have a dog, right? So let's say you know this is this is me, right? All right, that is me, right? So I say, now, take a look at this sentence. Is, is this an adjective? No, in this case, uh, it's a no. noun. Oh, exactly, so guys, exactly, right? Guys, Handsome in this case is not an adjective, it's a noun, right? So in this case, guys, 
it's a noun, okay? So an adjective is an adjective because it modifies or it describes the, it modifies guys or it describes the main, I mean the, 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 the a noun, okay? Right? So that is the reason, that is a, that is the reason why guys, okay? Okay, that's, that's what handsome is, all right? In this case, it's working, it's working as a noun, all right? Sounds good? All right, so what is an adjective? What does an adjective do? do? Uh, somebody mentioned it. What is an adjective, guys? Let's go back to the presentation and let's see. What is How an adjective? To describe subject or noun. Describe the feeling. Guys, an adjective, okay, an adjective, okay, an adjective is a word that describes, okay, a noun, okay, that is an adjective. Guys, can you hear me well? Can you, am I cutting off or anything or something? See, see, is that in my connection? See, si. yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So, so adjectives are words that describe, right? Are words that describe nouns, okay? Or pronouns, okay? Got it? Got it. So I have a question for you. Can they describe objects? Yes or no? The object of a sentence. Can they describe the object of a sentence? Yes, yes right? So because, yes. because objects are nouns or pronouns, right? Can they describe the subject of the sentence? Yes or no? No. No. An adjective describes a noun, right? Describes na describes um, nouns or pronouns, right? So can they describe a subject? A subject, guys, can be a noun or a pronoun, right? So can they describe subjects, yes or no? Yes. Yes, they can, right? Yeah. They can, yes, they can describe subjects. Of course, guys, of course, right? If it is, you know, if, if subjects can be nouns or pronouns, they can be, they can describe, you know, they can describe um, subjects, of course, right? Subjects and objects, okay? Anyhow, all right, so let's move on. So, all right, so we know that, right? So an adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. Repeat, guys, an adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. An adjective describes a noun and pronoun. All right, a noun or pronoun. Okay. Pronoun. Oh, right? This is what an adjective does, okay? So if I say, guys, he, check this out. If I said he runs, he runs fast. So if I said this, is, uh, is fast uh, an adjective? Yes or no? No, we said verb. Exactly, right? It's not an adjective. It's an adverb because it's not describing the noun. It's describing the verb. Okay, very good. So we know that. Okay, good job. Thank you very much. All right. So yes, guys. Okay, so if we see here, guys, we say we have fantastic, light blue, are young, right? All those are descriptive adjectives. If you use them in the right sentence, okay, they can be descriptive adjectives. But I want you to notice something here, guys. What is? What are some of the what are some of the adjectives here or here? Or what is the one adjective, guys, or maybe two adjectives that do not follow the same structure? For example, fantastic, right? Light blue, they follow the same structure. What about, what about relaxing? Relaxing, guys, comes from a verb, from the verb relax, right? What about satisfied? Satisfied comes from the verb satisfy, right? Oh, so you can turn certain verbs into adjectives. Puedes transformar ciertos verbos en adjetivos. Okay? So that's what we are going to learn today. All right. So participles, right? So, guys, the uh, a past participle is the third form of the verb, right? So you have, for example, um, you have, for example, what is, what is the, what is the, the, okay, let's, you know what, let me give you the base form of the verb, and you give me the past form in the past participle. Okay, so what, the base form of call, 
right? That is, uh, what is the, the past? The simple past form. Cold. cold. It's cold, right? And what is the past cold. participle form? Cold. The same. Cold. Very good. So it's going to be the same, right? Cold. Right? If I say, for example, let's have another one. So the, the verb um, swim, right? What is the past simple form? Swim. Swim, right? And what is the past participle? Swim. Swim. Yes, sir. Swim, right? Swim. Very good. Swim, right? Very good, right? So this is the past participle form. Okay? Very good, guys. Very good, okay? Now, the present participle, guys, present participles are easy to identify because they are verbs in ing, right? For example, um, let's see, let's say the base form is entertain, okay? Entertain. That is a verb, isn't it? Is that a verb? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, right? So what is the present participle form? It is entertaining. Entertaining. Repeat guys, entertaining. Entertaining. Entertaining, right? Very good. So it's entertaining. Okay. All right. So far so good, guys. So we are gonna work with these two things. Vamos a trabajar con estas dos cosas. We're gonna work with past participles, right? Which is like like this. And actually, guys, in, in ED, because guys, what I'm about to say, guys, do my favor, guys. If you're not every time that you're not talking, guys. Cada vez que no estén hablando, every time that you're not talking, I need you to mute your microphone, okay? Necesito que muteen su micrófono cada vez que no estén hablando because I know, right? I know that we have Cuatro Vision in the background and it's good. Yo quiero ir, right? Regresar and every, all that, right? But not, not right now, okay? So listen. Um, the only past participles that we are going to be talking about are going to be Right, regular verbs, okay? So for example, um, entertain, right? Let's go with entertain, right? The, the, the past form of entertain would be, well, the past participle of entertain would be what? Entertained, right? Yes or no? Yes. All right? Yes. So, so listen, we are going to be talking about these two guys over here all right past participles and present participles because they can both be adjectives okay they can be adjectives okay they can be adjectives because they can describe nouns all right so that's what we are going to learn today all right so i want you to notice the difference in the um, the definition, not the definition, but what they do, right? I want you to take a look at the difference between these two. Between the reason why we use past participles as adjectives, right? So like this. And uh, and the reason, the reason why we use uh, present participles as adjectives, okay? So... Now, what is, okay, so take a look at that, guys, and tell me, what is the difference between them both? What do you think? Okay, Lorenzo, no worries. Guys, read them, read them. I'm going to give you one minute to read them. And I want you to tell me what the difference is, okay? Um, past participle, we can use to talk about how people feel or something like that. And, pa and present participle, uh, for example, cow uh, causes or feeling uh, people that um, we talk about, about them. For example. Okay, all right. Very good, very good, very good. All right, very good, guys. So, yes, okay, that is the difference. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, so listen, guys. Past participles, and and, and guys, take, an, 
if you want to learn, guys, grab a notebook, okay? Because otherwise you're not going to learn, all right? You're going to be here and you're not going to, I don't know why, you know, why you're here. But if you want to learn, you should have a notebook, okay? Listen, past participles are used to talk about how people or not only people, what, what are the things can feel, guys? Aside from people, what else can feel something? Animals. Animals, right? Animals, very good. So animals, what else? Objects. Objects can feel, no. Mm -mm. No. So animals, people and animals, right? Let's leave it like that right now, okay? Now, okay, so this, guys, is going to be the receiver of the action. It's going to be what, guys? Receiver and object. The the receiver the receiver of the feeling. I'm sorry. Receiver of feeling. Okay. This right here, guys, will be the receiver of the feeling. Okay. Not not the object, guys. The feeling. A receiver of the feeling. Okay. All right. So please, guys, take notice that past participles are going to be the receivers of the feeling. And present participles, guys, okay, it says here it's the cause. It's what causes the feeling. Remember that. It's what causes the feeling. If you cause a feeling, guys, if you cause it, if you're the cause, right, then you need to use present participles, okay? All right? Sounds good? So, for example, let's say, raise your hand if you're married. Someone married. Raise your hand. Someone who's married. Married? Nobody's married here? Jeez. Nobody, nobody, nobody? Me, teacher. All right. Me very good. Teacher. So, Edgar. Right. So, Edgar, right? Yes. So, let me give you an example, guys. Okay? So, Edgar, do you think you, you your wife loves you more than you love her? Or do you think you love her more than she loves you? Sometimes I, Sometimes I feel that, that she love she loves me more than I love her. Oh, okay, right. Right. She's right. very special. I, okay, right, all right. Don't don't let her watch the class, okay? All right, okay. very good. <laughs> very good. So listen. Uh so okay, so you can say right that you are so who causes who causes more love? You, right? You cause love, right? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. so I'm going to give you an example right now, guys. Okay, so I can say Edgar, right? You can say Edgar is a loving husband, right? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. <laughs> All right. Okay, very good. Edgar is a loving husband, right? Now, loving, is that an adjective, yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, yes. why can I say that Edgar is a loving husband? Because can he cause a feeling, yes or no? Can he cause a feeling? Can Edgar cause a feeling? ¿Puede Edgar producir un sentimiento? ¿Ser la causa de un sentimiento? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. He's, so, guys, here, right, we're saying, hey, Edgar... It's like cause, right? He's the cause, okay, of the feeling, right? And I can say, right, uh, I don't know what your wife's name is. If you want to share it, that's fine. If not, I'm just going to call her uh, Dualupe, okay? Dualupe, right? Dualupe is loved. Check this out. Now, is she producing the feeling or receiving the feeling? Está produciendo o recibiendo el sentimiento. She has the feeling. She is receiving the feeling, right? Okay. Dua Lipa is low. Okay, very good. Notice, guys, notice that we can use, you can use this. La causa puede ser. Let me ask you something. Can the cause be a movie? Yes. All right. So pay attention, guys. I want everybody to pay close attention to this exercise, okay? All right. Let's say that you're watching 
what's a movie that 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 makes you you know that makes your 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 heart beat faster you know or like that makes you cry what's a movie that makes you cry super mario bros right no what's a movie that makes you cry el rey león all right so the lion king right thank you for speaking in english the lion king all right so the lion king right so let's say that you're watching the lion king right it's the movie so you got Right, you you got uh, I don't know, right? You got you got Simba or whoever, right over there, right? You got the lion, right? Whatever, All right? So you're seeing the lion <laughs> that looks like Predator, <laughs> but anyways, okay, it's the Lion King, okay? So listen, you're you're watching the Lion King, and you're here, you know, you're. You're 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 sitting right, right like this, right. And you have whatever, right. So you got you got your chair here, right. And you're sitting here and you're watching, you know, the Lion King, correct. And you're eating some popcorn, right. So you're you have your popcorn here, whatever, All right. So, anyways, guys. So this is you, right. So now, guys. Can the movie feel? My question to you is, can the movie feel? Yes or no? No. 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 No, right? So if they can, if the movie cannot feel, can we say the... What the character, the, yes. Hold on, hold on. Can the, right, the movie was entertained can I say this? The movie was entertained, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Listen, let's go back to the example that I gave you before. If you're answering yes like that, you did not write down what I asked you to write down. Okay? Remember, we use the past participle, I'm sorry, the past participle adjectives, right? As the receiver of the, the, the feeling, receiving the feeling, right? Can a movie receive a feeling? Can a movie feel? Yes or no? No. Guys, no. Puede, puede una película sentir? Object. Not to no. no. So, guys, no. we can never say the movie was entertained, right? Remember, we can only, a movie can only cause a feeling. Can, can a movie cause a feeling, guys? Yes. Right? Yes. Puede una película moverte el corazón? Yes. yes. Right. Right. Of course. Right. That's that's how you got. You know that that's that's how your 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 current husband conquered you, perhaps. Right. El te conquistó tu tu. There's not right. I don't know. Right. It happens. Right. So listen. It's because it's moving. Right. So guys, listen. So 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 guys, I'm hearing a few lies. Remember, guys, if you're not participating, I needed to mute your microphone. Okay. <laughs> all right very good so all right so i can say guys the movie was entertained right can i say that can i say the movie was entertained no because a movie cannot receive the feeling okay so repeat guys a movie right a movie a movie it cannot receive a movie a don't receive feeling. feeling okay all right so now a movie can right a movie can cause a feeling yes or no yes yes it can cause a feeling so can i say guys the movie was entertaining no yes guys yes yeah. absolutely guys we use Present participles when we talk about the cause of a feeling, right? Cuando es la causa de un sentimiento, usas present participle. Cuando sos el que recibe el sentimiento, usas past participles, okay? All right. All right, very good. Teacher, okay. can repeat this? Can I repeat what, sir? Eh, cuando es la causa, usas eh, past participle. No, you use... Guys, what do you use when it's the cause? 
present participles. Present participles, right? Por eso le estoy marcando con una gran flechita aquí, right? Les estoy dando los ejemplos, right? When it's a cause, guys, right? You use present participles, okay? So that's what, the reason why you can't say the movie was entertained because a movie cannot receive the action. A movie cannot feel anything, right? Guys, decime, ¿cómo una movie se va a sentir triste? No. No, right? <laughs> right, very good. So now, can I say, guys, let's say, let's say this person is, give me a name for this person, guys. Juanito. George. Agapito, right? So anyways, Agapito. So Agapito, uh -huh. guys, okay? Can I say, guys, Agapito is, is entertained? Yes or no? Yes. Guys, can I say yeah. Agapito is entertained? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Yes, he is. Yes. Okay, why? Why can we say Agapito is entertained? He is watching the because, movie. Because he it's can kill Be Guys, I do my favor. Do not translate, okay? Dejen de traducir, right? Por eso se equivocan. Stop translating. Understand and just talking, just thinking in English, okay? If you want, right? Si quieren de verdad nunca progresar en la vida con el inglés, está bien. Tradúzcame todo, por favor. All right? Because that way you're never going to learn. All right? So stop translating, okay? If you want to progress in English, you need to stop translating, please. Okay? So anyways, so I got Peter's entertained. You, I can say this, right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. But why? Why? Give me the reason why. Because, because he, he's watching the, the movie. Yeah. Because he caused feelings. Because you, he what? I'm sorry. He caused feelings. Because he causes feelings. Yes. Mm, yeah, he can cause feelings, right? But is he right? Let me ask you something. So he's watching a movie, right? Is he receiving the feelings or is he? Producing the feelings here. Receiving. He's receiving, right? So yes, we can use entertain, guys. Okay, because he is the receiver of feelings. Got it? Thank you, Alejandra. Got it. Right. So this is the receiver of the feeling, right? So we have receiver. Okay, and this is the cause, right? Cause and receiver, right? Or producer and receiver. Okay. Now, can we say, guys? Can we say Agapito? Let's say that Agapito, all right, let me give you another example. Let's say that Agapito is juggling. Do you know what juggling is? No, teacher. No, hold on. All right. Okay, so this is juggling, guys. Malabarista. No, it's that's a noun. And guys, stop <laughs> translating. <laughs> the first thing that I'm telling you is that not, to not translate, and you're translating everything. So this is juggling, guys. The action. This is juggling, right? Juggling. Repeat, guys. Juggling. 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 Right. Juggling. Right. It's to juggle. Right. Right. So what when you do these guys? Okay, you're juggling. Okay. So now, so this is Agapito, okay? He's juggling. So can I say, guys, in this case, guys, he's juggling and, you know, I don't know, this is, this is not going to be Agapito anymore, okay? So this is going to be, I don't know, let's, let's go, let's go, how, how do we call him, guys? I don't know, whatever. Let's call him, um, um, uh, uh, Sue, right? We're gonna call him Sue, all right? Got it? <laughs> That's what we're gonna call him, okay? So now, I have a question for you. Okay, so he's watching, right? He's watching this right here. So we know that Sue is entertained, yes or no? Is he entertained? Yes, he is. Okay, so let me ask you something. All right, is Right, is the juggler entertained 
or entertaining? He is in entertaining. 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 Do you all agree? The answer is yes. yes. Yes, okay, so guys, the answer is yes. The juggler, right? The juggler is entertaining, right? That is correct. So guys, we can use we can use ing, right? We can use present participles and we can use past participles with, with people because remember, ing only means that it's the cause, right? It's la causa del sentimiento, right? Got it? Got it. So he's being the cause, right? Got it. Okay, so su, right? <laughs> Whatever, however you pronounce it, guys. So... So this guy over here, guys, this I got Pete, this this uh Sue guys, we're gonna call him Cristiano, okay? So Cristiano over here, guys, is basically <laughs> right, is basically entertained, right? He's receiving the action, he's the receiver of the action, okay? And that's what I want you to to remember, okay? The receiver of the action, guys. Oh my god, I need to move this. Okay, so the receiver of the action, guys, is the the the, the past participle. Okay, any questions, guys? Here, clear as I don't know tequila at least clear as tequila. Teacher, uh, me. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, it is the feeling, yes. Both of them are both and of them are feelings. And ing is when you has the feel. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the class answer that question for you. What do we when do we use ing, guys? When do we use present participles? Somebody when please answer them. Is the cow. When what? Cows of when feeling. Cows feeling. All right. So ing is used as the cause, right? Whatever or whoever causes the feeling okay is the cause of the feeling got it la got causa it. del sentimiento es ing okay and the receiver of the feeling is ed past participles right ed right sounds good yes yes okay so so very good so i have Okay, so I have, I have, okay, let, let's see if, if we all understood, guys, okay? Let's go back to the presentation here, all right? All right, so take a look at these examples, okay? Okay, and, and the, guys, it's very important that you learn here because I hear a lot of mistakes, guys, a lot of mistakes from this class uh, about about this topic, okay? Because uh, sometimes, you know, we have a lot of issues with board, you know? You, I hear a lot of people say, guys, uh, teacher, I watch a movie and he was bored. And you may pronounce it, right? <laughs> so can I say, guys, can I say, you know, um, can, can I say that? Can I say, can I say, uh, you know, what, what was, what was the, tell me, give me the name of a movie, guys, of a, of a really nice movie. Casino. 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 Mario. Bro yes, of Martin Scorsese. All right, great. So we're gonna go with Casino, right? I have not watched Mario. I I don't know. Um. Uh, but uh, Casino. Okay, so Casino. Can I say, guys, Casino was bored. Now, do my favor, guys. I want you to tell me and be honest, okay? Can I say casino was bored? Uy, es que casino significa casino. Y was es estuvo. Y bored es aburrido. Yeah, that is the actual translation. I think you cannot say that. Okay, I'm going to ask everyone of you, okay? So, Joanna, Yesenia, uh, can I say casino was bored? Yes. Okay. Eduardo, can I say casino was bored? 
No. Okay, Fernando, can I say Casino was bored? No. Okay. Uh, I think yes, because is Joe Phil. Mm, okay. Ever, can I say Casino was bored? Remember that Casino, guys, is a movie, right? I this think right no, here. teacher. You think not? Okay, you don't think, guys, guys, in English, you don't say I think yes, I think no, okay? Eso es en español. Just stop translating. That's what I'm saying. Stop translating. I think so. And I don't think so. Repeat, guys. I think so. I think so. I think I so. Think. And I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I don't right? Think so. I think yes I think doesn't so. exist, guys. Esto, I think yes, that doesn't exist. Okay? No existe. All right? So, anyways. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. Nidia. Can I say casino was bored? Yes or no? I think no, teacher. I don't think, guys. I, just... I don't, perdón, I'm sorry. I don't think, no. I, I think don't so. think so. Okay, right. Write it down, okay? Raul, can I say casino was bored? Yes or no? Me or? Uh, yes, you. Uh, no, in my opinion, no, because uh, it's my opinion about the movie. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, uh, the people. Okay, all right, all right, very good. You're you're close to something, right? Jose Daniel, do you think that we can say casino was bored? Yes or no? Uh, other people can we have? All right, guys, do me a favor. I want everybody, guys. I want everybody to please. Send me in the chat, guys. Quiero que me escriban yes or no. Okay, so I'm going to escribir yes or no. Si piensan que casino was bored is correct, say yes. If you think it's incorrect, say no in the chat right now, guys. Okay? Everybody, let's go. Okay, so I want to see. All right, so I got Angel says no, Yancy no, Raul no, Nidia no, 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 no. Okay, very good, very good. Everybody, guys, tengo, how many do we got here? I got 21 people here, so I want 21 answers, okay? Alejandra says XD. All right, beautiful. Uh, no, now everybody's saying no, okay? <laughs> Good job. I want 20, 21 answers, guys. I need 21 answers. 21 respuestas quiero, all right? All right, all right, all right, all right. Very good. So, okay, guys, the answer is, the answer is, Joanna, do you, do you still think that we can say casino was bored or not? Yes. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. You're honest. I like honest people. All right, very good. Guys, the answer is no. That is the answer. Why not, guys? Why can we not say casino was bored? Because the casino can can fail. Exactly, guys. Casino is a movie, right? And remember, yes. when we say guys, when we say casino is a movie, right? So decime algo. ¿Cómo una película va a sentir? Got it? Got it. Remember, Got when we use Got it. when we use past participles, we're talking about the receiver of the feeling, right? Estamos hablando de quién es el receptor del sentimiento. Decime, ¿cómo Casino, si una película puede recibir el sentimiento? Can, 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 the, can the movie feel? Um, no, I don't no. think so. Right, so the answer is Casino was... Boring. boring okay. Boring. Casino was boring, boring, right? Right, because when you say boring, you're talking about the... When do we use boring? When do we use ING? Causes. Cause, cause, guys, not cows. Cause, cows, 
cows are like the animals, right? Right? Moo, right? Oh, yes. That's that those are cows, right? This is a cause. Oh. Cause. Yes. It's cause. a cause. All right, cause. very good. It's a cause, right? Very good. All right. Okay. So listen, guys. So I was thrilled. All right, listen to this. I was thrilled when I received her birthday her her birthday invitation. All right? I was thrilled. Is this great, guys? Can I say I was thrilled? Thrilled is like excited, excited, guys. Emocionado. Can I say this? Yes. Yes. Yes, right? Yes. Because because I, right, is a person, and a person can be the receiver. Yes or no? Yes. 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 All right. The film was so boring that I fell asleep. Is this correct? Can I say mm -hmm. the film was so boring? Yes. Yes, correct. Yes, right? Can I yes. say, guys, can I say the film was so bored? No. Ah, es que bored es aburrido, si lo puedo decir. Can I say bored, guys? The film, the film was bored. No. 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 Right? No. You can't. Okay. Now, guys, entienden ahora por qué no deben de traducir. Yes. You can. Now, All right? It should not be translated. Okay? Si quieren, dealing, right? Dealing, but don't blame me if you don't learn English. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, anyways. So, guys. So we do have, you know, we do have those type of adjectives, right? And um, um, when we have guys, we can form them by, you know, using ing and ed forms, right? So we call them, we call them what? Ed and ing, guys, what do we call them? Present. Present participles and past participles, right? Very good. So, guys. ED, right? So past participles describe our feelings, okay? And the ING form describe the things which make us feel like this. So the cause, right? We're going back to the cause, right? So check this out. The student is quite bored because the lesson is boring. So guys, from this example, from the example that we got here, okay, which is, um, can I say the lesson was bored? Can I say bored? The lesson was bored. Can I say that? No, no right? Good. Because a lesson cannot feel. Who can feel? Humans and animals. Right? Very okay. good. It's me. All right. Right? This guy over here, right? That was that was me, guys, when I was a kid. Right? Exactly. All right. So that that you know, a person can feel, right? So what is the difference, guys? Take, check this out. We can say the chair was, can I say the chair was relaxed? Can I say that? Can I say the chair was relaxed? Yes or no? No, teacher. No. No, why not? Because the, the chair can, can feel. The chair can feel, exactly, okay? So I am very relaxed. I can say this. Can I say the guys, I was very relaxing? Forget that this exists, right? Forget about this sentence. Can I say, I am very relaxing? Can I say that? Yes, teacher. Yes, you can say that. Yes, because you can cause relaxation. Puedes causar relajación, right? I can feel that. Puede ser relajante para otras personas. Si vos sos la causa de la relajación para otras personas, Entonces, puedes usar relaxing. Got it? Cuando son la causa, puedes usar ing. Right? Does that make sense? This makes sense. Okay. Very good. Very good. Right? So, all right. So, please, guys, don't go like, ah, es que relaxed, es relajado. Entonces, no. Okay. No. Right? Don't do that. All right. So, um. See, um, so basically, guys, we use, you know, ED to describe describe people's feelings, right? And ING to describe, the, to, to basically talk about the cause, right? So tomorrow, guys, we're going to start with this exercise because we ran out of time. Okay. Do we have any questions, guys? Any, any questions? No questions? All right. We're going to practice tomorrow. 
but now right now guys i want it's very important guys that we go over the platform have you who has not okay be honest it's okay who has not finished everything up to section three should have finished uh, section one two three and i guess the midterm right have you all finished that guys or are you still missing some items i'm already finished the whole plat platform all right very good be careful platform right platano forma no platform right very good right okay what about the rest guys you don't need to finish the platform now it i mean you can right it would be okay it would be great i still i still working in that teacher i hope to finish tomorrow in the morning all right okay very good guys so let's go over some of the some some of the answers from section three real quick okay let me pull out the platform and see if we can go over the, uh, some of the answers that we got there hold on all right hold on guys well my platform is not loading guys for some reason anyways um but i do okay i, I do have have it open here all right so let's see guys if i can help you with these over here all right so i think the ones that you might need help with are help with are these right now those ones these ones right so um i'm going to show you the answers here guys because of the time right so the answer guys for 3.10 right um we have who is Ang Lee? He's a movie di uh, director. He made the film Hulk. So you can say he's a he's a movie director who made the film. Hulk. Hold on, guys. Is this is this your section? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. All right, very good. So answer for number one. Number two, guys. Yes, it's an action movie, which starts Johnny Depp. All right, number three, it's a musical about a girl who becomes a celebrity. And number four, yes, it was a great book, which was hard to put down. Okay, so those are the right answers there. Okay, and I think that was the only one that was that required you to type in the answers. Okay, so we're going to go over the the midterm tomorrow okay so if you want to review guys the answers that we got here please do them guys if you have not reached this section try to solve them on your own okay but if you have not you know if, if you have not um well if you've done them guys okay you can rewatch the answers you know from uh the videos that we got online okay anything that you need from me guys alguna ayuda algo en los que, en lo que les pueda ayudar we're good. Aprendieron algo hoy, guys? Did you learn anything new, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay, all right. Very good. Guys, yes, teacher. Guys, um, it's very important, guys. I know, right? I know that you're doing all the things, but it's very important that you turn on the cameras, okay? You, you need to turn on the cameras when you're in the class, all right? Okay, teacher. I know that in la universidad, right? Todo mundo se duerme, está en la cama y nadie presta atención. But guys, no, nunca vas a poder aprender un idioma. De verdad, los idiomas no es como una materia de la universidad que de verdad tenés que practicarlo. Like that, right? Because it's about speaking, right? And you have to you have to pay attention. De verdad, guys, está bien si estás con los audífonos, right? Pero si estás en la cama, sí. Guys, así nunca se aprende, de verdad. Yo nunca he podido aprender, guys, estando acostado solo. O sea, me, imagínate, capaz que las personas que tienen la cámara apagada me usan para quedarse dormidos, guys. You know, ah, la de David, no, in, my bonita, case, eh? in my case, I am shy. That's okay. That's no, okay. Teacher. okay, right, right, no, right good. Don't be shy, nobody's watching you. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, man. <laughs> very good, guys. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you.